Making awesome videos is great, but it means nothing if nobody can see your work. People need to find you on the internet and that starts with a website. And no, it's not a technical challenge, everyone can do it. Hey folks, Jordi here for Cinecom.net. We share tips for filmmakers and that also includes the business side of our creative work. Websites can cost a lot unless you can make them yourself. But then we see a technical gap. We're not programmers, we are video editors, filmmakers. Luckily there is a solution called Wix. Wix.com is a website that allows you to drag and drop different elements, customize it to fit your style and it's super easy to use. So let's dive into Wix and make a website. So once you've created your account and head over to Wix.com, you will see this dashboard, which allows you to do all kinds of settings necessary for your website. And uh, I've already created one website as a demo before I was creating this tutorial. And uh, you can see that appearing here on the left portfolio. But if I click on that, you'll see here that I can create a new website by clicking on this button. And that allows me to go to a some kind of a wizard that will help me to create a particular website and it will ask me what the website is for at first. And uh, we can choose here, for example, a portfolio and CV because that is what we are going to create a video portfolio for filmmakers. So click on that and that will bring you forward to the editor that you'd like to choose. And there are two kinds of editors. You've got some sort of a, a wizard again, uh, but this one doesn't have that much uh, customization options. So I would go for the uh, Wix editor because that allows you to do really everything. So uh, click on that and that will bring you to the next step and that is to choose your template. Now if you like, you can choose any of these templates and then adjust anything you'd like about these. And this can be a very good starting point for your website. But if you are like me, then you just like to start from scratch and that is also possible by just going here on the left, you can see here blank templates. And under the blank templates, you can really like it says here, start from scratch, that is really blank, nothing. But there are also pre-designed layouts. Now these doesn't have a particular style, but they do contain all the elements already, like a slider, the menu, and so on. But for now, let's go with the scratch. So just click on edit, and that will bring you to the Wix editor. And here we are. Now the Wix editor is actually very simple in use. You can drag and drop all the elements that you like. You can change the settings of all the elements, etc. You don't need to know any code. So that is wonderful about this. And still we can change everything we like in here. Now the first thing that I always recommend is to start with your menu. Think about it first, which pages am I going to need and make sure that you've got that at front and then we are going to design the rest of the website. So here on the top left, you can find uh, your pages and currently we only have a home page. But if you like, you can add another page by just clicking on this button here on the bottom. And then you can say, well, I'd like to add a real page or you can also just say to add a link to your menu. Like if you wanted to go to a third party website, uh, like a Behance portfolio or anything like that. I'm gonna click on page now and let's create a portfolio page. So we've got the home page, which gives a small introduction to what we do. And then the portfolio page actually contains all the, all the photos if you are a photographer or the videos if you are a filmmaker and you'd like to showcase your latest work. Portfolio and done. Then let's add another page. And this is going to be the about page. You know, people like to read about me. If it's a portfolio, then make sure that you also include enough about yourself. And finally, if it's not the most important page, the contact page. You know, you want people to contact you. So whether that is your phone number, your address, etc. Now, of course, at any point you can change the order of this menu. So you can just, uh, for example, the portfolio is pretty important. So I'm just going to drag that underneath the home page and then the about in its last, the contact page. All right, let's close this menu now and let's add the actual menu element to the website. So just go to your left side here where you can change everything, even apps that will do something specifically. Uh, so just click on add and here you can see a bunch of things that we can add to the website. So we can add text, images, galleries, slideshows, and so on. Of course, like I said before, we're going to start with the menu. So head over to menu, and here you can see some pre-designed menus that you can choose from. And again, I would say go with any of these, and then you can change the style 
if you like so afterwards again. So let me just pick out one of these uh, menus right here. I do like this one a lot. So just take that and drag it to your website. Now, of course, we're not going to drag that into the page, but we're going to drag that to the header, which is up here. Then just let go. And to the beginning, Wix will help you with some tips, but uh, you don't need those tips because you guys got me. So uh, let's just close that and continue here. I'm going to drag the menu here to the right side because what I want to do is actually add my logo here on the left. But let's first take a better look at the menu, and one of which is the design. So if you can click on that, then that will open up a new pop-up box. You can change the design of that menu. Also, you can go into the custom design mode and just change everything that you like in here, like the fill color, you can change the borders, the corners, everything you like. But you know what, I really like the menu a lot, so I'm just going to leave it as this, and I'm going to dive into these options with some other elements later in this video. So just close that menu, and, uh, and let's add that logo here on my left side. So go back to that add uh, menu here on the left, and I'm going to head over to images, and select my image uploads. You can find your library of uploaded images. Now I've already got two images in here, which is me and the Cinecom logo, but I'm going to add another one because uh, for this website, I've created a new logo, I hope you guys like it. I'm going to click on Upload Images and I'm going to browse to my desktop. And over here I've got a Wix folder which contains all my logos and photos that I'm going to use for this video. And right here is my awesome logo. I'm going to be Jordi the Freelancer and I'm very good at camera, light and editing. And that's what I want to showcase in this website as well. So once it's uploaded, just press Done and then just uh, once it's selected here, click on Add to Page. And now we can just drag that to the header here on the left side. And there we go. We've got a beautiful header now with the menu and the logo here. And because it's in the header section, it's going to stay there for all the pages. But let's start designing now. I'm going to head over to the home page because I'm currently at the contact page and we're going to start with the home page. So just click on here from the pages menu. And you know what's really popular these days? Those sliders. So I'm going to add this header slider. Head back to that add button here. And I'm going to choose Slideshow. And from here again, you can select any preset if you like, so, or just design your own. I'm going to take this one here and drag that to the page. There we go. Now maybe you can change the height of that slider, perhaps it's a bit too large. And in that slider, we can change different elements. We can also add new text in here, new uh, images, etc. So as for the text, you know, what I'm going to do here is I want to tell the visitors exactly what I do with these sliders. So I'm going to do something playful here. I'm going to say, I am and underneath that camera. And as you can see, as I'm changing this text, uh, a new pop-up here will appear where I can change all the stuff like the font size here, as you can see, the color, uh, the alignment, uh, some effects, you can even add a drop shadow to it, and so on. Now what I wanna do is align these elements here in the middle of that slider. Now what I can do is select one of these, but also I can select multiple by holding down the shift, and I wanna make sure that I'm going to group these elements. And I can do so by clicking just here on this button, once I select multiple elements, group elements. Now we can just simply click once on it and that will select this whole group. And now we can just drag that around here in my slider to reposition it. Now as for the slides background, of course, you can also change that. Just click on that slide and head over here to change slide background. And uh, there are different things that we can do again here. We can choose from the Wix stock uh, backgrounds and that even includes videos like this one right here, which I like very much. The only one problem is that my text is not so readable anymore because of the bright background, but even Wix thought about that as well. Just head over to the settings of that background here on top and uh, that allows you to add an overlay pattern to that slider image or video. And for example, I'm just gonna take any one of these and that will actually make the slider darker. Or you can also select even lighter if you have a black text. But for now, I'm going to select darker and now the text is a lot more readable. Now let's continue. We've got three slides. You can navigate to them from this blue menu here on top. Let's go to slide number two. Also here, I'm just going to group these elements and uh, I'm going to position them in the middle. And uh, let's change that again to say, I am and the subtext is going to be light. So also the font size, just increase that a little bit. I am light. And here you can again change that background if you like. So you can also upload your own images, of course. Also here, group the elements and put that in the middle. Double click to change the text, I am. And also the text is now going to be the editor. I am the camera, I am the light, I am the editor. 
it clearly says what I'm doing. So if anyone is looking for a camera guy, a light guy, or an editor, you know where to find me. All right, for those who still don't know what I'm doing, we're going to head here below that slider, the services. So again, head to that add button right here. And I'm going to head over to strip. And on strip here on the right side, I'm going to select services. And uh, here we can find some pre-designed services elements. And I really like this one over here. So I'm just going to drag that into my design. There we go. And as I only have three services, I can go into the settings here and say manage columns. Click on that. And from here, I'm going to say to the last column here, column number four, which is consulting. In this case, just delete that. There we go. And now we can close that, go into these things, and again, change all the text, the, the icons, the elements, the font, the color, everything we like. So let's do that for this icon right here. Click on that, say change shape, and uh, that will bring us to the shapes from Wix. You can also, again, upload your own shapes if you like so, but Wix has tons of shapes, tons of icons, so why not use them? So let's search for a camera, and look at that, they even have a camera shape or icon. Also here for this one here, it's going to be the lighting. So if I type in light, they even have a film light, apply. And then the last one, I'm going to search for a laptop because this is going to represent the uh, service editing. There we go. Then let's also name that. This here is going to be camera and just add a little text below that. Let's say that I'm a experienced camera guy working with red and DSLRs. I mean, this kind of states which kind of cameras that I work with. Communication companies usually look for a freelancer that works with a particular camera. And usually that's between red and Ari. So uh, let's just say that I'm working with red here. Then here also light. And I'm gonna change this text right here to, to the color white. Because I'm not using the color green anywhere else. And as for the text also here, let's say hire me as a DOP making use of my own complete light kit. And with this, I'm also saying that I have my own light kit. You can hire me as a DOP as well. And then finally, the laptop here, this is going to be editing. And I'm going to change the font color to black in this case. And as the text, I'm going to type something in as I have my own editing suite working in Premiere Pro. There we go. With these three basic elements, you instantly say what exactly you do and what you have and what you have to offer. Now let's say that someone here comes to your website and he or she is looking for someone who works with an RE and you are only working with RET, then that person might go away and go to another website. And that is actually not a bad thing. You wanna position yourself on the internet. You wanna clearly state what you are about and that will attract people and that will also, you know, unattract people. <laughs> but you wanna focus on the people that are attracted to you for business purposes, of course. All right, do you read more? I'm just going to delete that. If you have, for example, a services page, then you can also include that. I'm also going to here, make this a bit smaller. There we go. Now, another thing to also mention here, we are currently working in full white, as you can see. If you like to work more boxed modes, you can also do that, and all the element groups will have some kind of a option here to stretch or not stretch your elements. And currently it's set to screen size, but you can also set that to page size. And as you can see, that will kind of box this element. But uh, we're going to work full size here. So let's just put that back on screen. Now to finalize this page, I'm going to add several pictures from the behind the scenes. If you have a reel, you can also put that in the slider. That is also, by the way, always great to do so, so that people can actually see what exactly you do. Because you can say that you are working on a red and that you have your own light kit and all, but, but are you of any good? Do you actually have all of this equipment? Then make sure to show that, showcase your creative work, showcase your gear with pictures or with videos. And Wix is telling us something pretty good here. Make sure to save your work. Even though we are working in a browser, still make sure that you are always saving your work. Because you know, browsers can crash as well. So press on save and give that a name. You can get a free link from Wix, of course, but you can also connect your custom domain name. For example, jordythefreelancer.com, but we're going to stick to that free domain name right now. So let's say Jordy the Freelancer. Look at that. Save and continue. It's all saved up, but it's not published yet. So don't be worried yet. Only until we hit publish now, other people can see it, but not yet. So let's head back to that add menu right here. 
and I'm going to head over to gallery and we've got a bunch of different galleries and really some cool designs here like these hexagons and such. But for this design, I'm going to pick something more rectangle-ish. So I'm going to drag in this grid, drag that below that slider. There we go. And also here again, it's currently set at box, but if we're going to head over to the stretch menu, we can set that stretch to full white. Close that. And what, of course, what I want to do is change the images. So you can either say to replace these images by selecting any of these, or you can also delete them and just upload new images. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to delete all of these images because it will go a lot faster if we are just going to upload the new ones. Delete, delete, not my picture, not my picture, and not my photo. Add new images. And I'm going to over, head over to upload images. And I've got a bunch here to select all of them and say open. And it's going to upload all of these wonderful photos from behind the scenes, from stuff that I'm working on. So people can see what I actually have. You see, we've got a picture here of the studio. People then know, hey, he has got a studio. And we can see some cameras. Okay, you know, that guy knows his business. Press done. And I'm going to select all of them. You can hold down your control key to select multiple photos and then press add to gallery. And uh, well, that's it. Then just press done and bang, your photos are added to the gallery. Now it seems like there's one picture too much here, so I'm going to head back to uh, pictures and I'm going to delete one of these. Uh, let's just uh, remove this one, the last one here. And that looks a lot better. We are at the bottom of the page. That means it's time for a footer. The footer will usually contain some copyright information. So click your footer, it's always funny to say that, and head over to change footer design. And uh, again, you can add shadows here, you can add different colors and so on. But let's just go for a plain dark color. There we go. And I'm going to add a text. Let's just add a paragraph to it. Drag that into your footer. I'm going to say edit text. The first thing I want to do is change that to white. There we go. And I'm going to change the text here to stay off my stuff. There we go. Position that perhaps here a bit more to the left. And if you like so, you can add some more stuff here on the right. Perhaps some uh, links to social media. But we're going to take a look at that on the contact page. But that's for later. We're first going to go further with the portfolio page. And now we're going to see how we can add actual video to the website. So here back to the top left, head over to portfolio. And as you can see, the header and a footer is still there. We only have to design the actual page now. So head back to that at button over here. And uh, let's head over to video now. And from here, we can actually choose to add a YouTube video or a Vimeo video. We can embed that. This is also the best way to do it. You know, we are able to upload videos to Wix, but we are limited to only 50 megabytes. And that's because usually you want to use uploaded videos as a background of a slider. But if you are going to add actual videos in here, I really suggest to work with YouTube or Vimeo. And the reason for that is, well, YouTube is going to convert your video in different formats, a format that suits mobile users, a format that suits users with a 4K broadband internet connection. So it's going to push different formats to those users that have also different sizes, which makes it more user friendly. So drag in that YouTube element. And of course, we're going to say change video. And, and pretty cool here, we can just actually search for videos. So let me just enter Cindycom in here. And let me just take any of these, for example, the five tips to light a scene, press add. And there we go, the video is already added. Now what's even more cool is that we can head over to the design of this video. And we can add a cool frame to this. For example, something like this, a drop shadow, anything you'd like, and that makes it a bit more personal. So there we go, this is our first portfolio video. Now here's something pretty cool that I haven't seen that often yet with online editors. You can actually use your short keys that you are used to in let's say in a text editor or even in Premiere Pro anywhere you use them, things like copy, paste, um, undo, re-undo, etc. So let me just copy this, Control C and say Control V. Now I've just copied this element. Now pretty cool also is here, I've just dragged that to a different position. I can just say Control Z to undo my action. And that is what makes working with the Wix editor so pleasant. All right, so let me just place that back here and I'm gonna change the source one more time to something different. So let's search for Cinecom again. And let's take the five tips to stabilize your shots video. There we go. Now it's pretty much set actually with just having your videos on here. 
but it doesn't look so great yet. We're going to add this big banner here on top and that will kind of make the website a bit more personal. So head back to your ad and we're going to head over to strip and I'm just going to add this standard strip with the background video to it. There we go. And I want to make this smaller because what we're going to do here is put a title into it. So something like this would do very well. Now head back to that plus here. Let's say add text. And in here, I'm going to add this all caps, big title text. There we go. And let's change that to portfolio so that people know at which page that they are. And I'm going to change that to the color white, perhaps make that a bit larger, not too much. Something like that looks pretty cool. And underneath that as a little subtitle as well, I'm going to go back to texts and uh, let's take something here. Cute title. <laughs> I like that. It's a cute website as well. So let's just take it. Here's what I can do. Change that also to white. Make that box a little bigger and put that underneath the big title. Oops, there we go. Now we have some kind of a subtitle to it. Now some pretty cool things about this strip. If we go back to the change background strip and head over into the settings. Again, we're going to add this darker pattern onto it, but also we can add different scroll effects to it, like the very popular parallax effect. So I'm going to select that as well, close the video settings, and now we've got a pretty cool banner. Of course, you can add more videos to it, you can add different backgrounds to it. You know how the strip works now. The strip is an element that you probably use more often. What I wanna do now is just copy this entire header, say Control C, head over to the About page, and right in here, I'm going to paste it. And now we can just very easily change the text. So let's say about now, and as the subtitle, we're going to say all about me. And as for the about, there's a pretty cool element for that as well. So head back to the add element menu. And again, I'm going to head over to strip because you know, this one just has the most. And right here, we can find about. And I'm going to drag in this element over here. We can redesign that again. Let's start with the left column here. Say column background, and currently you know, these feet are uh, in it, but I'm gonna say change that with an image, and I'm going to select my image. So I'm going to go back to upload images, select myself, open that up, press done, select that image, and say change background. And now my pretty face is in that column. And then on your right side, also here, we're going to change the column background. We're not going to work with that green. We just like a different color, for example, again, that dark gray color. There we go. And on the top here, about us, well, it's only me. So I'm going to say Jordi van der Butt. And underneath that, a little text, which I've already tightened out for you. And I'm going to put that in the white color as well. And I'm also going to align that to the center, something like this. And the button right here, I'm just going to delete that. I don't need it. So there we go, this is the about page, nothing more to say. You can also add some certificate uh, icons in here. Just go to the add menu and select shape to add different icons in here. And so you can showcase your diplomas from film school and so on if you like so. But I'm going to consider that this page is done. Again, I'm going to copy the header and head over to the last page which is the contact page. Paste it there, contact. And let's say as a subtitle, Let's get in touch. Now, very important for the contact page is that we have a contact form. So we're going to head over to the ad again, and we've got an option here, contact. And from here, we can just drag in any contact form that we like. For example, the first one, again, we can always change the design afterwards by heading over to the design option. And let's go with something simple. Actually, I like this one a lot, except for the button going to head over to the custom design, click on fill color and opacity. And as for the background of the button, I'm going to make that dark again so that it fits more with the rest of the style. Close that. Also here in the set your email options, you can set the email address that the message has to go to. And underneath that, you can change the fields of that contact form, but I actually like it a lot. So uh, I'm going to leave it as this. And like I said before, we want to add some social links here in as well. So go back to the menu here and we're going to go to social. And again, you can select any of the pre styles. I think you guys understand now how Wix is working. So I'm going to drag that to my page, move that a bit lower 
And uh, again, go to the settings here, change to social links. You can just select any of these images here. And in the option here on the right, you can change to which page it has to go to. Now by default, it's all linked to the Wix page, but you can of course change that, for example, to the cinecom.media, which is the Facebook page of Cinecom. Make sure to like us, by the way. And then just press done to close that menu. And finally, and that's the last thing I wanna show you guys for this tutorial on how to use Wix, and that is to add a Google map to it as well. So go back to the add menu and you should find under contact here as well. And we're going to scroll down right here, the full white Google maps. And I do like this one here a lot. So just drag that underneath those social links. So again, you can change the address from the options. I mean, it's getting pretty straightforward what you can do with all the different elements. Now, once your website is done, you can of course publish it, but before you do so, make sure that you first preview it and make sure that everything looks awesome, looks the way you want. Try to test out the different menus and so on. Now, very important, and here's something that you're going to see, for example, I'm going to head over to the About page, looking pretty good here. But let's say that I'm viewing this website on a mobile phone, on a smartphone, to be more specific. And change the viewer here to a smartphone, mobile view, and right away you can see that some things aren't really right. You know, the text here, this title is over the other text, you know, this element here is just way too large. This is not good. So let's go back to the editor. How do we fix this? Well, also in the editor, we have two different views. We have the mobile view and we've got the desktop view, which you can always change back and forward from by clicking in this menu here on top. Now, currently I'm in the edit mobile view and don't be afraid here. You can just start again, changing your elements. So I'm just going to drag this uh, title here on top smaller for mobile users. Now this is not going to affect the desktop users and that is what makes this thing so great. Everyone has probably heard about responsive websites, but this thing is actually taking it to the next level by creating adaptive websites. And that means that the content on a desktop and a mobile phone is going to look different. So you can even say to add different photos or different buttons in here on mobile that you wouldn't see on desktop. Also here, the logo here, I'm going to drag that a bit smaller for mobile view. There we go. Now when I'm going to switch back to the desktop view, you'll see that everything still looks the same as I've created with the desktop view. So there we have it. We have a basic website created underneath an hour. Now let's go to save again. And we're going to say publish now. And well, that's it, it's published. You can head over to visit site now. This here is your link on top, cinecomnetwixsite.com. Jordi the freelancer. And when I'm going to head back to my dashboard, you can just go to wix.com. You will see that the website here is also on my left right now. So we've got Jordi the freelancer and we've got portfolio with which I've created before. Now currently I'm in the settings of Jordi the freelancer and in here I can change all the different things like upgrading my plan to a premium account. And by doing that, you can connect your domain name to your website, work with an e-commerce shop and so many other options. Now that we've created our own portfolio website, we can take it to the next level by turning it into an online shop. You can sell merchandise to earn an extra buck or set up a printing service as a photographer. But that's for a different video. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative.